All right. Okay, so we, we had a wrap week last week. Yeah, a wrap week. We, it still continues this week. week. Yeah, so but then we had the male rappers and all of that. So yeah. we're in the house today. We are putting a little twist to it. Boss lady in the house. Mm. Yeah. Putting a little twist to it. So we have prize in the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello. All right. All right. You're okay, welcome. that's You're welcome. good. So <laughs> great to have you on the show. I mean, this is the first time we're having a female rapper on the show. Really? And yeah, this is the first time. Um, I mean, we're not that many. To Before be he honest. continues, love your kicks. Oh, thank you. I love them. You too. know, Mike is always stealing stuff from the male rappers. So. Oh, seriously, can they see it? Can Please, they see it? Please, slippers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want that to go without this? Eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, but seriously, that, that's where I want to start from. There are not so much of you. Why is that? Um, well, first of all, rap as a genre in Nigeria is challenging enough. And then being a female artist is also challenging. So, I mean, you can only imagine putting it together, being a female rapper. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, I can understand um, ladies not wanting to commit to, you know, commit to that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so, but, okay. Talking about rap, oh, by the way, sorry. Mm. Talking about rap, female rap, the rap scene is dominated by the males. Yeah. And so when the females come in, they kind of, put in this sexual light, they have to expose some parts of their body, like the Nicki Minaj's and the Lil' Kim. So you, you're obviously different. If, if you've checked out her pictures online, you're always modest and all that. How, how do you keep up with that? Because and I know a lot of marketers will tell you, no, you have to show off some skin. So how do you, how do you keep I up with it? I find I don't really need to show as much skin. First of all, my, my parents, like, they'll kill me if <laughs> I go, you know. All right. To the extreme. But um, I find I don't really need to show that much skin somehow because um, uh, I'm, I'm blessed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, the, 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 out. Mo most things will show off my figure, right? You know, just the right things show off my figure and, you know, mm -hmm. so, okay. you know, you still get to look sexy and classy. So what do you think about them putting female rappers everywhere in this sexual in that light. Box. What do you think about that? Um, well, I mean, I, I kind of understand it because obviously sex sells. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but I, on the other hand, like, it's, it's kind of annoying. And trust me, I've had so many conversations where people say, man, you need to, you need to, you know, show your assets. You need to mm. sell, sell mm. your markets, you know, mm. all that. Mm. And um, I just think that, like, if guys don't have to do it, why, why do I have to, you know, sell sex? Like, guys do it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that, yeah, well, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's necessary for me to, you know, I mean, I would like people to listen to my music, music. and, yeah, and then. All right. Yeah, but then I'm, I'm wondering, would it, would it work? Okay, you spoke about Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim. You mm. know who Nicki Minaj is? She's like the mother of all, of explicit, if <laughs> yeah. I might say, as yeah. a word, and all of that. Same with Lil' Kim and which other female rapper do we know? They are that way. If he isn't, though. She oh, never was. Wasn't, Missy she wasn't. Was always the friend. Yeah, okay. that's true. Missy, yeah, Missy had that tomboy but, feel. But Iggy, 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 Iggy had to fall into that category. Yeah. And showing up yeah. some skin. So, but, but, do you, but do you think that to make it to the top, do you think you can do it being modest? Just ask you, do you think you can do it being modest? I'm going to have to try. In any kind of business at all? <gasps> I mean, do, do it being modest? Yes, yeah. I think so. I mean, I think with the right music. I mean, if, for instance, um, if... Johnny, I mean, obviously, Yemi Alade is a yeah. sexy girl and everything. Yeah. Shout out to Yemi, by the way, great girl. Yeah. Um, she, if she didn't do, if she didn't do have a sexy video mm. for Jen, Johnny, which I don't think she really did. Yeah. You understand? People would have still liked the song. Like they already liked mm, the song. The song. Mm. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's about. I think it's about the music at the end of the day. At like the everything the else day. is just on top. Like mm. I don't think. Okay. Um, if they actually like my song, um, they'll watch a video and say, oh. She wasn't dressed sexy enough. No, I'm not going to listen to this anymore. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Oh. So, okay. Yeah. So what makes Prize stand out from every other thing we have there? What's, what's the selling point? What makes you unique? My, I think my selling point is that, like, I mean, I think that I can rap as well as most of the guys in the industry. Oh, that's mm. cool. That's mm. cool. We just, we, just, we just saw her video and they were all... Yeah, they were all... Bizarre, <laughs> but looking at that. price, you see and her the fears, and all of modest, that. But then, okay, let me, let me take you at this. Um, one of the people, it was, I remember Buki and Sasha, they really brought female rap into the limelight. Into the limelight. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria. After a while, we don't see Sasha that much and all of that. In, in what way, what, how do you think... Uh, what, okay, what kind of measures do you think should be put or would or could be put in place so as to facilitate the female rappers or to help them to bring them out more because now we don't like you said it's, it's hard being a female artist yeah. and then even rap as a genre of music even mm. amongst the males is not so accepted and not be a female rapper 
we don't even see Sasha anymore. Mm -mm. You know, as much as how do you think it? How do you think you can change? Like, what do you think you can bring to the table that will make you last at the distance? Uh, I'm just gonna say honestly. Yeah. Hits. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I, I agree with you. I constant yeah. hits. Yeah, constant hits. Like you know, I mean. We, we all need to bring it more. We all, all need right. to bring it more. Like, we all need to, we need to be competing with the likes of them, MI, Ice Prince, or Lamy Day, Fino. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, we need to bring it more, in, myself included. Uh -huh. But, you know, 2015. You've been, been in the, the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've been in the kitchen. So when do we expect <laughs> something? Boom. Um, well, first of all, um, I'll be putting out a new single pretty soon. Um, mm. With two weeks... About two weeks, you know, right. fingers crossed, everything right. within and everything. So, uh, okay, yeah. awesome. all right. So, now you said something. Have you ever, have you done, have you, how much of these male artists have you featured ever in any track you've done? Um, well, obviously, I've worked with my label mates. Um, um, am I? Am I, Ice Prince, Jesse, you mm -hmm. know, separately and together. Apart from your label mates? Yeah, um, I haven't really worked with any of the A-list rappers per se, but I mean, I've worked with, um, I've worked with, uh, I've worked with Phenom. Phen okay, mm -hmm. yeah. all right, mm -hmm. yeah. okay, Phenom. Um, right. A few other rappers that rappers. were on, you know, the records and everything. Records yeah. all, right. all right, you have this upbringing of music, musical upbringing, your family, you guys own the studio and all that. Yeah. And so, well, yeah. How did you know that? <laughs> 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 Let's, so, um, talking yeah, about let's your, talk about you growing up, your upbringing, yeah, your upbringing and all of that. The tribe, you're part of the tribe also. No, I, I was okay, never part of the tribe. You, was never part of, mm -hmm. you see, that's the point. That's why we, we tend to ask for stuff like this because, you know, you big people there. And stuff fly around about you and not everything is really right as mm -hmm. it was. Okay, but let's talk about your musical upbringing, how much your upbringing affected what you're doing now. Wow. Um, massively, actually. My, um, first of all, I was born, last, last born, only girl. Whoa. Three older brothers. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Three older brothers. Um, I was born into a media, a media family. My okay. mom used to be a broadcaster on NTA and, you know, nice. um, she had like various game shows and all that. So I kind of grew up seeing all that. Yeah. Um, and then besides the TV aspect of it and everything, um, mm. you know, eventually my dad, my dad always loved music. Mm. I think he attempted it once um, as a young as a youngster but it didn't okay. really work out so he mm. just you know so he always loved music um so he got a studio uh and my brother got into production so he would always and mm. that's just like my almost like my twin because i follow him around and i really used to look up to him a lot i still look up to him mm. um so he was always he's always producing um and everything so i was just following him around and then i'm like i want to be on that song he's like what will you do i'm like i'll rap so i go back and i rap i write raps and so by like age 10 11 i was like writing raps and you nice. know um at that time not recording but mm. like by 14 as we started recording and you know i was in the my first group was all out squad mm. where i was okay. first lady with my brother and his friends and all that, you know, right. in Port nah. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, just basically, like, I got into, I got into, I just, it was just something I was always able to do, and everybody would always be surprised, like, wow, that's actually dope, like, you know what I'm saying, that's actually good, so, um, yeah, but I actually got into the music industry while I was in, um, I was in school, I was in Nottingham. Mm. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, somehow, I just recorded a song, and somebody sent it to notjustokay.com nice. and okay. they posted it and people were talking about it. Um, the first one, the first reviews weren't so great, Ooh. but I took it as a challenge. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this even better and I'm going to come back. So like I next sent, sent something else in awesome. and you know, it's, it just kind of picked up from there. And before I knew I sent something to MI and right. he was like, wow, you have to join the truck boys just nice. like that. And I was like a huge fan of the truck boys. So I was great. like, yeah. Hi, mommy. It turns <laughs> out. <laughs> a part of the Chuck yeah, Boys, just music, like that. You know, so yeah. Awesome. That's, so that's do you do a little bit happen. of singing? Because nowadays I'm, most rappers, yeah. yeah, they have to sing. The industry pushes you to sing yeah. a little bit. So you all about rap? No, How have you I, I'm, to do I'm with actually uh, kind of. I've I've been dabbling in in singing from the get go, but by the get go I mean like 2011 there about. All right. Yeah, but um, now I'm actually trying to. Get, getting into it a bit more like um my i'm putting out an ep this year mm. um, okay yeah very soon mm. and uh on the ep you kind of experience the new sound like the new price sound because you know there's a bit of singing and rap you know rapping and nice. trap music and all that. 
nice looking at you as a person see this air around you you have this strong woman uh, i wouldn't say masculine i would say um, elegant okay. well not really tomboy okay. she has this feminine thing about it who's your alter ego describe uh, her do i have behind the ego? stage mm, like yeah do you have any character when you come up on stage yeah, you have to my alter ego on. is is actually very quiet and introverted and mm. Yeah, I and likes to you. read books. Yeah, in bed and <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, that's my alter ego. Wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it's usually the other way around for a lot of people. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, so um, or maybe this is my alter ego. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. So your best de definition of fun. When yeah. you want to have fun, mm. you read. I, I read, or I go to the beach. Beach. Okay, yeah. you love nature. Yeah. Let's have a little fun. I love water. <laughs> let's have a little All right, fun. Let's have fun. Can you? What? Kanye. Kanye. Mm-hmm. Genius. Genius. No, I, okay. Okay, no, what I want you to do is uh, just what? give me their joining name. What? Just give me their joining name. Okay. Kanye. West. Mm -hmm. West. Tupac. Shakur. Notorious. B.I.G. Mm. Snoop. Dog. Jason. Stackhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jason Stackhouse is a character on Shadow. Okay. There's another name in my head, Jason. Jason no, 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 the, the, I'm Jason? talking about the rapper now. Okay, okay. The rapper. I was the ruler. Jason, not the ruler. Not the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I don't know. I don't this know. is Terrell Taylor. Kendrick. Lamar. 50. Cent. Of course. Eyes. Prince. That was cool. That was very cool. That was very cool. That was very cool. Andre. 3,000. Ah, right. Lupe. Fiasco. Buster. Rhymes. Mm. Easy. E. <laughs> well, well. KRS. One. Oh, that's cool. Ghostface. Killer. Hmm. You're on point, though. Yeah, she is on point. <laughs> Nikki. Nice. Yeah, that was... That was mm, Leo. Sneak. Ah, no, no, Rick. Uh -huh. no. Aha. You're on point, too. You're making sense. Mm, let me see which one. I'm looking for something hard. Big. Pun. Ah, oh, nice. that's very cool. Nice. Um, uh, this one. Okay, let's just try to push up. Yeah, easy. See. Ah, <laughs> so if you like, so who's okay? Who, who would you say your influences? Who has influences so the the most um, foreign and uh, local. local? Okay, uh, I'll just say Jay Z influenced me from a very young age. Okay. Like, yeah, so my formative years when when I was learning how to rap and everything. Okay. Jay Z was a big influence. Mm. Um, yeah, I like Kendrick Lamar mm. a whole lot. Yeah. Um, I like Rhapsody. You might not know her. She's like a female rapper. Yeah, okay. She's pretty dope. She's kind of uh, underground. Okay. Underground. Yeah. Right. Um, and then I, li I like Drake, obviously. Everybody yeah. likes Drake. Okay, so how do people get into contact with you? You'll show me the handles on all of that. Um, okay, yeah, just follow me on Twitter at It's Price. That's I T S P R Y S E. Yeah, okay. um, on Instagram at It's Price as well. Okay, right. so awesome. she, she's doing a performance for us, right? Do we beatbox? Am I? Uh, yeah. She, she's right, doing right, a performance right, for us. Okay, okay, no, okay, we don't we'll have to. We don't have to. No, 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 really okay, we'll round up yeah. with the performance. Right. We've had Price in the house Price from the house. Up Chocolate City. It's been great talking to her. And that has been the breakfast show for the day. See you tomorrow. So we're heading up. Okay, is that Capella or what we do? Capella, do, okay. do we beatbox for no, you? No, no, it's, is, it's, is it's good. Coming it's, up? I'm good. No, okay, you're good. Okay, okay, all right. Let's go. See. Young female renegade with my lips round a hand grenade. It took longer than I envisaged, but when I blow, no barricade. The game tough, I go past the stage. Hope I never cave. Hope I never sell my soul to the devil, get hella paid. Man, these girls, no reach, man, they never gauge. My poor sons, I wish they were better raised, but see, I go talk true, I go talk true. I know if you talk lie in the old school, you're in the archives. In the new school, I'm in the top five, said MI. This is not hype. You could take that shot, but you're offside. Ooh. I spit so hard, I feel chop knives. Hey. And hey. this guy is like a hot dive. Hey. Oh. 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 Nice one, oh, nice no, one. That was good. Mikey, that was cool. you were sitting, that was cool. and what's wrong with you? Get out of my face. Hey, hey, yo. What do you want me to do with this? <laughs> so she's been a rapper. I mean, what do you want me to call me? Hey. Hey. Where she is? I'm not it. started. All right, this is video, Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. See you tomorrow.